three years ago, a friend of mine and I started playing the Toho Project games. You know, the bullet hell shooters with Danmaku, Shrine Maidens, and Yokai flying around trying to kill each other with magic bullets. We started playing that in, in school. We had miniature competitions between ourselves to see who would advance more stages than the other. Aside from the bullet hells, we also played the fighting games, the ones that were the spin-off games like Toho 12.3, Toho Hiso Tensoku. We played that in the classroom once and then our other classmates, like the other boys, started seeing and started asking, hey, that looks like a fun game, can we play? And sooner or later, it just spirals down into most of the class starting to play this cool game. The game was passed around in USBs and hard drives. Sooner or later, around a fourth of the classroom was playing Toho Hisutensoku while in the midst of project rushing and cramming. Similarly, a year ago, I watched a Nick Robinson video about a cool game that's not on the Uplay store and his other video about what a second person game looks like. After I watched those, I pirated Driver San Francisco and started playing it at home and at school. A couple of guys at school saw me playing Driver San Francisco and started asking for copies of the game because it's a racing game. It's a driving game with a cool mechanic that lets you switch to whatever cars are also in the area. That's cool, I guess. Like, The first one to get it too was one of my other friends. He asked me for the copy and he started playing it on his laptop too. Curiously enough, one of my classmates I didn't really think would be into like playing games that much asked me for a copy. I handed him my hard drive and told him to copy it from my hard drive. Sooner or later, I see, I see another guy from a different class playing it on his laptop while we were having a break. And I'm just like, damn, how many people have started playing this game? And as it turns out, around maybe a quarter of the class again, like a third, were either playing or watching someone play Driver San Francisco which was cool and all. Now, what I'm getting to here is that these two incidents of me accidentally spreading a game around like wildfire aren't just coincidences. So the thing about the two instances that I mentioned is that they both happened during times of deadlines and project rushing. The people who were playing the game were either already done with their projects or they were procrastinating on their projects. If I remember correctly, the Toho Hisoten Soku thing happened during the waning months of our 10th grade in high school while the driver San Francisco like um, boom happened before the end of our first semester in 12th grade. So my hypothesis for this is anyone like any of my classmates can get kind of addicted to this one specific like breather game that's just like a feel good for everyone as long as there's nothing left to do or there's something to do that they don't want to do. There was another time where my classmate who has like a cool gaming laptop brought the controller to school and basically turned his laptop into an arcade machine. Even one of our teachers started playing Tekken with the others on his laptop, which was pretty cool. Do consider the fact that that was happening right before school was going to end or right before we thought school was not going to end yet, but suddenly it ended due to the current state of the world. The main takeaway here is that if you want to start a gaming revolution, if you want to get everyone addicted to this one game, the best time to do it is when everything's like settling down at school. The end of a school year or the end of a semester when teachers aren't even teaching anymore. They're not giving you new tasks or new lessons to learn. The prerequisites for a game that could be like <laughs> dealt around like a shady business practice like what I did, accidentally hustling a game, two games, accidentally hustling two games. The best games for that would be something easy to learn like a driving game or a fighting game, something that's entertaining to both play and watch. That's what hooks people in. Anyway, yeah, this is just a story of me accidentally getting people addicted to games accidentally. Well, not really addicted, more or less just getting them into the games that I was playing. Besides, I didn't see them play it after like the sem breaks ended, so it was probably just like a fad just to take a breather from whatever they were doing and to do something else, something that didn't really stress them out that much, unlike class. Anyway, yeah, thank you for watching. Bye!